Hello Cancer, welcome to a bonus love reading. This reading will be all about what can you expect in love in the next three months and what should your approach to love be during this time. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and let's see what we get for you for Cancer. Spirit of Angels. Guys, what messages, what guidance do you have for Cancer for the next three months in love? What can Cancer expect in love the next three months? Okay, we have parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. Falling leaves, time changes everything. What else? What else for Cancer? What do we need to know for Cancer? Closed off, guarded, defensive, resistant. Being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities. Okay, so what I'm getting here, okay, then there's wishing well at the bottom of the deck. I think I'm speaking to a Cancer that is not with their person and is probably thinking about wanting to be with their person. Maybe there's no communication as well with closed off here. But there's a desire, a wish for communication or for something to perhaps change. Um, I feel like a lot of time has passed with falling leaves. I'm getting like, um, like this wasn't recent. Okay, let's see. What else? What else can Cancer expect, Spirit? What else can Cancer expect in the next three months in love? What can Cancer expect? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction. What else? What else for Cancer? What else is going on? Romantic feelings. Okay, so what I'm getting, there's still feelings despite what's happened. You deserve love at the bottom of the deck. So there's still feelings here between you and this other person. Um, a chemistry, an attachment, an attraction. Okay, what else? What else do we need to know? What can Cancer expect in love spirit in the next three months? What can Cancer expect in love the next? Three months. What can Cancer expect in love? Okay, we have the hangman. I was going to cut the deck, but I guess I'll just wait for cards to come out. Five of Cups. What can Cancer expect in love the next three months? Man, Cancer. King of Swords and the Three of Cups. Okay. What's at the bottom of the deck? King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. King of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, uh, Gemini energy. I think that when it comes to this connection, things have not been moving. And I also feel like it's going to be slow going because of the hangman. Maybe somebody is seeing this situation with new eyes. That's also a possibility. However, the five of cups is right after it. So it's almost like someone is still thinking of the past, sad over the past, missing another person or feeling a sense of loss. King of Swords could, be, could mean that there's some sort of communication information that happens in the next three months. And the three of cups is all about coming together, meeting up, friendships, celebration. So let's break these down. Tell me about the hangman. There you are, Cancer, the chariot. This is about moving forward, being in the right direction. But with the hangman, it's, it's interesting because it's the complete opposite. I feel like someone wants to make a move. While they're, while they're standing around, hanging around, they're thinking about a move they would like to make. 
Tell me more about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? The sun. Wow. More. All the major arcanas are coming out now. Four of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like someone wants to be happy, wants to go towards their happiness here uh, because they're not happy right now. Four of cups. Also, the four of cups is only focused on what has already happened. So once again, there's this theme of someone that is just focused on what has already happened here. Tell me about the five of cups. This is also a card about regret. Okay, hold on. Ace of Swords. It says upside down, yeah. Ace of Swords. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Cups. So I think that somebody wants to communicate these feelings. Wants to talk about the past as well. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Oh my God, what is going on with my deck today? Six of Swords. This is the, another card about movement. The Six of Swords, the Chariot. Um, this could be a situation where someone needs to leave something behind in order to be with the other person. Maybe that's why the Hangman is here. I think if someone left in the past, they want to talk about that. As, you know, I, I see that as well. It's almost like if someone is still thinking about the past they're obviously going to be thinking about the person involved in the past so it's like let me talk to that person about what's been going on how i feel tell me about the king of swords why is the king of swords here nine of wands and the ace of pentacles okay so cancer the high priestess at the bottom of the deck I feel like this King of Swords has something to talk to you about, but I feel it's hard to listen to them. You know, the Nine of Wands is someone that has walls up. It's a bit guarded. The Nine of Wands has been through a lot. And so there's kind of like trust issues with other people. It could be that you're not expecting this type of offer from this person with a high priestess. Let me see. Can I get one more, please? For this king of swords why is the king of swords here wow queen of pentacles so i feel like this is you how they view you someone um with a lot of i mean the queen of pentacles is somebody that brings a lot to the table they do their own thing they're very successful loyal dependable steady but bottom of the deck is the two of pentacles so maybe you're just not sure maybe you don't understand why this person is asking you or telling you whatever they're telling you and maybe you are hesitating because maybe you don't understand their intentions especially if they're leaving something else tell me about the six of swords Tell me about this Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Six of Swords. When I have like um, a uh, like a water sign with a card of movement, I think that the movement part is because of how they feel. They're following their heart. Four of Wands, Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So. Once again, I feel like this person wants to tell you that they've left something and they could have been leaving a home, a marriage, a commitment, a place where they worked or lived. They could be doing all of that to have a four of wands with you. The sun, the four of wands, ace of pentacles, you know, these feel like they fit together. Um, but I think that the, the more important aspect here is the message, the message they're bringing to you because... I don't know. I feel like some like whatever is happening in this connection, there was no movement, no action, no communication. So it's a little odd what's happening now with this conversation. Maybe it's out of the blue or maybe you just never expected to hear from this person. Tell me about the three of cups. 
Why is the Three of Cups here? This one. Eight of Pentacles, okay. Why is the Three of Cups here? Two of Wands, and again, the Queen of Swords. The Hermit at the bottom of the deck, Virgo Energy. Hermit with the Queen of Swords. It's like someone's been thinking about what to say. Someone has been listening to their intuition, following their heart here, and it's leading them to communicate. That's what I'm seeing. Tell me about the hangman. Let me get one more for this hangman. Tell me about the hangman spirit. Page of Wands. Okay, so I feel like what's happening here is that you or this other person. Yeah, another so seven of pentacles. You or this other person, because this is the next three months in love for you. So both of your energies are here. Your energies and whoever's coming towards you. I feel like someone has been thinking about the past and is going to act on these feelings that they're discovering again. Um, there's a common thread here of communication, clarity, truth. And it's, it's almost like this person needs to speak their truth. And once they come in, you will have a choice. Cancer, two of wands, two of pentacles came up. I feel like you really want to know exactly why they're there. But not just that, how, how much work are they willing to put into this? Eight of pentacles, seven of pentacles. What does the future hold? Nine of wands, because I've been hurt before. And I'm not just going to blindly trust whoever comes forward. I need to know what your intentions are and I need to know all of the facts. You know, if you have left a situation, what does that look like? Um, if you have something to admit, confess, what is that? Because this person is thinking about making you some sort of an offer, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. So they're coming towards you with communication about an opportunity, you know, And they're showing up as kings. So I feel like over time they have gotten to this level where they understand things in a more serious way. And I think whatever they're going to tell you is going to be very seriously said, especially this king of swords and queen of swords. They, they don't mince words. They don't BS. They don't beat around the bush, these people. What should Cancer's approach to love be in the next three months? How should Cancer approach love spirit in the next three months? Cancer, I'm going to be extending this video. We're going to be looking at this person specifically, and we're going to look at their intentions towards you, how they feel towards you, and what their next possible actions are towards you. So. If you want to know more about this uh, person, check out the extended. It's linked in the description box. Orphaned, number five. Again, this energy of loss, abandonment, that's the five of cups. How should cancer approach love? Community, chaos, and conflict. Interesting. Soulmates at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's look at number five first. As you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for support but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing what you feel you deserve. Uh, maybe that's why you got you deserve love at the bottom of the deck. Perhaps you're in a different stage of personal growth. Perhaps you're in a new relationship and discovering you don't share the same values and beliefs. Spirit knows you and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those who accept you as you are. Okay, let's look at number 30 or number eight, actually. Community. Belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. I feel like this is what's missing for you. Um, I think this is what's missing. If you don't have any friendships, connections, networks, people that support you, I think that should be a focus for you in the next three months, Cancer. This card signals a new affiliation with a group. In a community, everyone has an important function and feels like they matter. Membership in the group provides a sense of belonging. Perhaps you're part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. So I feel like some of you need to um, not be so alone if you are alone. 
um, or to find like-minded people that support you despite anything to do with love or, you know it's, it's almost like spirit wants you to maybe put yourself out there a little bit more with community and not be so much in this headspace now chaos and conflict is making me pause because i have a feeling that it's almost like you're going to need this support system and need to be in a better state of mind to deal with what this might be disarray being at cross purposes with another the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. So I think that there's something going to happen possibly with this person um, when they come forward. I mean, all this energy looks great, but relationships are not easy, right? There's always different things that are happening <laughs> around the relationship, especially if this person's leaving another connection or if you have a certain history, right? And I feel like this person could be someone that you have a strong connection with. Soulmates, they show up here at the bottom of the deck. But I'm also getting, you know, that a support system is just as important. Any advice, guidance for ca uh, cancer? For any advice, guidance for cancer, please. Spring, okay. Any advice, guidance? for cancer at this time victory will be yours interesting bottom of the deck your wish will be granted and victory will be yours so maybe you're manifesting something very beautiful here it could happen around springtime or maybe around springtime is when something actually started but it looks like you will get what you want so that's good um cancer i'll see you all in the extended if you want to join us there otherwise thank you so much for watching like the video if you enjoyed the reading, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.